All right, folks, God bless you guys, and welcome to This Is It. Four, three, two, one. Before the fire, the Bible says the earth is reserved for fire. And as mind bending as it sounds, and as it is, as Noah was warned about a flood that would be coming to destroy the whole earth, I was warned in 2002 that a fire was coming to destroy everything into the world. Um, now it's 2020, oh, I'm sorry, 2022. And after 20 years of watching this data roll out, I can look you in the eye and say, I am absolutely 100% convinced it is, it's coming immediately. When I say immediately, a lot of people, oh, then you've been in the looks next week. No, I'm just mean we are in the process. I can show you that we are in the process of the end right now. The enemy is taking over the host body system. It's easy, easy to prove. It's easy to see. It's easy to look on you know, the news and see what's going on around the world. But what I want to do for the world, what I'd like to do for everybody, as I would do for anyone that I would try and get saved, I would insist that they know some of the most basic things. What did Jesus say his mission was? What did the Bible say his mission was? What did the Bible say Lucifer's mission was? And then I'll take those statements right out of the Bible, and I will take those to the folders and the information that the Lord's given me supernaturally, and use them as confirming witnesses, one confirming the other and vice versa. Let me show you what I mean by that. So let's just get to it. Let's start with the Bible. That's the best place to start. To do a little reverse engineering and let's start with Revelation 9, when the bottomless pit opens and it says, and I saw an angel. I saw, well, I saw a star fall to heaven and to him, see, to him was given. So. It says, I saw a star fall from heaven. See the word star? I saw a star, a star a, as strewn over the sky, fall from heaven and unto the earth and unto him was given. So the star is a him, and he was given the key to the bottomless pit, and he opened the bottomless pit. And out of the pit there arose smoke, and out of the smoke, came locusts upon the earth right here in revelation 9 verse 3 and out of the smoke came locusts upon the earth right here and they had the power of scorpions okay so when the pit opens in revelation 9 locusts come out and they give a description of the locusts they have the shapes of the locusts were like unto horses prepared unto battle and their heads were they had crowns of gold and they had the faces of men hair as women they had teeth as lions, breastplates as it were of iron, and the sound of their wings was as the sound of many chariots and horses rushing in and running into battle. Okay, so I want to just show you very quickly, I showed you in the other videos, the shapes, because this is so critical. Can you imagine if someone was actually able to show you uh, an actual image of those locusts? Like, where would you get one? Where would you find an image of that locust? I mean, where you knew it was portrayed as accurate. It'd have to be supernatural. It'd have to be revealed to you. And then the only way that could happen is it would have to be a supernatural gift given to you from the Lord God because he wants it to be revealed because it's the time for people to know. The Bible says in the end, every everything secret will be made public. Now watch this. The shapes of the locusts, and I showed you this in the other video, it means a form made to the likeness of a similitude, but most importantly, it means to assimilate. So the shapes of the locusts are because they were, they assimilated an angel into a host, from a host body into a locust. So an angel gets carried away captive to the earth. He gets his host body. He gets trapped in there with an opposing force, which is a demon. And that's attached to the pit. And that, that attachment goes to a worm. Now I'm going to show you every single scripture that shows you that. And I'm going to prove it. But I want you guys to see all the definitions. Watch. So 
the shapes of the locus right here it says to assimilate okay and we're going to go through that and it's critical that you know that the locusts have a king so the locusts have a king over them so the locusts that come from the pit have a king over them it says it right here they have a king over them which is the angel of the bottomless pit so the king of the locusts his name is Abaddon in the Hebrew tongue, but in Greek tongue has a name right here. Apollyon says it right here. And Apollyon is a destroyer that is Satan. So Satan is the king of the locusts from the pit. And what are the locusts? Well, they assimilate angels. So angels that went against the Lord God that get a host body and they don't get they don't get converted before they die. They don't accept Christ as their Savior because the Lord God's willing to save even those that re rebelled against him. That's why the Bible says, why you were yet my enemies, I saved you. That's what Jesus said. While you were yet my enemies, I saved you. Who are his enemies? Those that committed insurrection and Satan. Okay, so in Lucifer, after his fall, is Satan. Now, here is the angel of the bottomless pit, Satan, and he's the king of the locusts. Now, and the locusts have assimilated angels, and a locust, uh, just like uh, a lot of other uh, grubs that, uh, that mature underground, start out as a worm. It starts as a worm, and then as it feeds underground, it, it metamorphoses and changes, and that's what's going on here. Now, let me show you the next script. All right, so uh, take a quick look here. How art thou fallen? This is Isaiah 14. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? Pay very close attention right here. How art thou cut down? How art thou cut down to the ground which didst weaken the nations? Let me show you something very, fa uh, very fascinating. The word nations, it has a couple meanings. It's meant to, the word nations, it means in the sense of massing. So the word itself, uh, goi, it means in the sense of massing, a foreign nation, hence Gentile, figuratively a troop of animals, or a flight of locusts, right there. So that right there, flight of locusts. For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. So here it is again. The word throne means properly covered. That is a throne as canopy. And I'm going to show you the Vatican in the center of the Vatican. The throne, the canopy that goes up in the very center of the Vatican. We're going to look at all this after I show you these definitions. The whole thing is a canopy. And the pillars of the canopy are a dragon, a serpent, a locust, and the queen of heaven. Right there on the corner. That's what we're looking at right here. Now watch this. Because y'all know that the, the dragon is the serpent, is the, is the serpent, is Satan, is the devil, and who's that? Lucifer after the fall. So here we go. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. The word throne means properly covered. As canopy, just like in the Vatican, the canopy in the dead center of the Vatican under the crown. So the, the crown, underneath the crown is a canopy. And on it, I just described it. And here you go. Here is to plump. That is to fill up the hollows, just like a wasp nest, like you would see. It starts plumping up a, a pupa and it starts getting fatter and fatter. To cover for secrecy or clothing. To clad self, to clothe, conceal over, to cover self. Right there. So remember, his throne is to plump and to fill up the hollows. I showed you just like in the pit, like well, think of just an endless wasp nest. And everyone that has a pillow on top is someone that's already gone to the pit and been fed to their own personal worm that followed you around your whole life. And when you didn't get converted, boom, straight to your cell where you are assimilated by that locust, by that, by that worm, by that locust, it assimilates you. Okay, 
Now, I will exalt my throne above the stars. The word stars as round or shining a prince. So the word stars right here are the princes of El, the Almighty God. See the word God? It's Hebrew word 410. Super important because if you don't know this, and you don't know that God right here is El, the Almighty God, then you'll never understand it. What if it said Elohim? It wouldn't make, the whole Bible would not make any sense at all. Especially if you go to Genesis 1, then it would be like, wait a minute, nothing Plex said is right. You have to understand that this is L. This is the battle. I will exalt my throne above the princes of L, the Almighty God. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Okay, hang on, let me finish this. I will be like the Most High. Okay, look at the word most high right here. Right here, you're going to see this in uh, Psalm 82. It's El Yon, the most high God, the supreme most high. Okay, so so he says, I'm going to exalt my throne as uh, canopied and covered to clad myself, to hide myself. And then also it is associated with the pit with a bunch of cells that are being filled up with worms. Do you know that's a very common thing in movies? Have y'all ever seen Prometheus? I'm going to show it all to you. Have you guys ever seen these uh, series on TV where it shows a worm in their eye? I think it's called, uh, there's a new series out. It's got the Statue of Liberty, like the tongue coming out of the Statue of Liberty. Oh, it's called The Strain. That's it. The Strain. All these movies are coming out with this kind of concept in it. I wonder where they get the concept from. Well, if you're Lucifer, Satan, now Satan, and you're taking over the host body system, and your throne is a bunch of worms that are assimilating angels into locusts, and one of the eyes of every human being that gets assimilated goes down to a locust, that would be a perfect thing to put on in your series or in your movies, wouldn't it? Makes sense. You, because beavers build dams wherever they are. Uh, the serpent race manifests what they are, period. Okay, so now we know what Satan's plan is. Lucifer, after the fall, is Satan. So we know what he says he's going to do. Now let's look at what Jesus says he's going to do and what the scriptures say about him. Okay, so in Isaiah 61, verse 1, the Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Let's look at the word Lord God. It's ad The word Lord is Adonai. It means the Lord as a proper name, like my Lord. And then the word God is all capital letters. It's 3069, which is just used for the syntax. Whenever you say Adonai, instead of, say, instead of saying Adonai Jehovah, it's Adonai Yehovah because it's a way of using it properly in the syntax, in the, in the sentence. But here it is. Here's the word God. Look at it for yourself. Yehovah. It's a variation of 3068. So 3069 is one digit different than 3068, and 3068 is Yehovah, the self-existent eternal Jehovah. So the spirit of the Adonai self-existent eternal Jehovah is upon me. Okay, so now no matter what anybody says, you've just been shown the spirit that is running Jesus, what spirit is it? It's not the spirit of Elohim, is it? It sure isn't. It says, the spirit of the Lord Adonai Yehovah, self-existent eternal Jehovah, because he is the chief politically of all the gods. So the spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord, now look at the word Lord. It's all capital letters. Very important you, you understand this. So look at the word Lord, capital L-O-R-D. It's 3068, which is Yehovah again, the self-existent eternal Jehovah. So here it is. I'm going to highlight it for you. This is so important you understand this. Okay. So the spirit of the Adonai Yehovah is upon me 
because the Lord, which is the self-existent eternal Jehovah right here, there's no argument, has anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty. It means to proclaim means to call out liberty, freedom to the captives. Let me show you what the word captives is. It's a pretty important word. I'll make it kind of light green uh, for the Green New Deal. Here you go. To proclaim liberty to the captives. Look at this. To transport into captivity. Where did they get transported from, do you suppose? So the captives were transported into captivities. I told you they're angels. And the Bible proves it. Uh, didn't didn't uh, what did Lucifer say? I will exalt my throne above the stars, the princes of El, the Most High God. Here it is. So the Lord, so Jesus is saying this is the the prophecy concerning Jesus. The Spirit of the Lord God, the self-existent Eternal Jehovah, is upon me because the self-existent Eternal Jehovah has anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, those that were transported into captivity, those that were carried away, led astray, led away. There it is. Shows it right here. They were led away, led astray. Take To take captives and to take away. So he has sent me to proclaim liberty to those that were carried away captive and the opening of prisons to them that are bound. Look at the word opening of prisons. It means redoubled opening of a dungeon that is delivery from jail, figuratively salvation from sin. But look, redoubled. Ready? I told you. You got an angel and a demon in, in your body. You have a right side up force and an upside down force. The upside down force goes to the pit to a worm, goes to one of your eyes, one of your ears. You have another force that goes up. That's to the Lord God in heaven. That's to El, the Almighty God. In the system that you call the earth, the Lord God is referred to as the self existing eternal Jehovah. So in the system, you have an eye that goes up and an eye that goes down. Now watch. So the opening of prisons to them that are bound, the redoubling, that's, that's how you open the prisons. You redouble. Ready? I'm going to redouble my eyes. Now, because my eyes are opposites, if I redouble my eyes because I got carried away captive, and I, when I did, instead of having two eyes that, that are the same, that are double, they come down and they get swapped one's up one's down so to to open your dungeon the redoubling of your eyes watch it says it right here the opening of prisons redoubling opening of a dungeon watch this because your body's the dungeon watch to open the spin senses especially the eyes figuratively to be observant to open why do you think I can show you the Vatican's a snake. Why do you think I can show you the building next to it is a snake birthing out of a snake? Because the Lord has opened my eyes. Why do you think the virgin's a dead sheep? Why do you think Madonna has the virgin as a dragon when you turn it upside down? Because when you're in their system, there is an image that's the virgin that's right side up, and there's an image that's upside down, and you're trapped in that system. But when you turn that image of the virgin upside down and you see it's really a dead sheep, you're like, oh, wow, now I can see. Do you get it? You see, wow, why would it be a virgin and a dead sheep? Why does Madonna have the virgin as a dragon upside down? Oh, now I'm redoubling on my, I'm opening the dungeon. So my mind is getting set free. I'm like, wait a minute, where the hell am I? What's going on around here? Oh, I was carried away captive. I'm an angel. What the hell? And then the world will hate you. Because as long as you're one of theirs, they don't care. But as soon as you wake up, you will be hated. Okay, so the opening of prison, say it again, the redoubling, 
the opening of the dungeon. So to open the dungeon, you redouble your eyes. There it is. And then it says, to them that are bound. Now, here you go. To yoke or to hitch together, to fasten and to join in battle, to put in bonds. Do you know where the way you got put in bonds? You got put in a host body. That's your bonds. You got an angel and a demon inside the same system, which is your body. Now, let's go look at when Jesus fulfilled this prophecy. So this is in Isaiah 61, verse 1. And then Jesus fulfills the prophecy in Luke chapter 4, when he stands up and he reads from the book of Isaiah. So Jesus stands up and reads out of the book of Isaiah in front of the congregation, and he reads this passage. And that's when everybody just about crapped themselves because they were like, wait a minute, that's the coming of the Messiah. Uh-huh. Here you go. So, and he came to Nazareth where he had been brought up. Isn't that perfect, just brought up? <laughs> it's so crazy. And as is the custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and he stood up to read. And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, now this is huge in the sense of reversal because Jesus is the one that opens the book to you, to your ability to understand it. You'll never understand the Bible unless Jesus is in you. You can't. So it says, and when he had opened the book, okay, ready? Right here, I'm going to highlight this yellow. This is so important. When he had opened the book, scroll, the writing, Biblion, look, in the sense of reversal. Ready? The word for uh, properly. Everything's about being turned up because you were inverted in the system. Uh, let's go back and look at the whole word. Up and then from the other root of the word. Uh, through the idea of expansion. Okay, so here we go. When he had opened up the book, he found the place where it was written, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. So now he's reading where Isaiah 61 is, but watch this. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. What does it say? And, okay, so now we're doing Greek. Okay, so you see that little G right there? That means we're we're in Greek now. The word Lord in Greek is the supreme authority, Lord and master, controller. The spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. Let's look at the word heal. To cure, to make whole. Wow, it's to cure, to make whole. Because again, you're not whole. You're half one thing and you're half something else. Just like the image of the virgin. You're right side up and you're upside down. To make you whole, what does it say? He redoubles your eyes, your vision. Oh, wow, the virgin's really a dead sheep. Oh, I can see. Wow. Okay, here we go. So, to heal the brokenhearted, so to heal, to make whole, and to preach deliverance, to preach, the word preach is a public cry of divine truth. Jonathan Kleck means Yahweh has given, and Kleck means a public crier, a town crier, someone that rings a bell and gathers the church. So he has, he has anointed me and sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach as a public crier of divine truth. Deliverance, the word deliverance means a pardon and forgiveness, so you get pardoned by the king. Deliverance of the captives. Here it is. A prisoner of war. Okay, ready? Say it out loud. I am a prisoner of war. Say it. Say it right there. I am a prisoner of war. How is that even possible? Well, if you're an angel and you got carried away captive and you're in a host body like the Bible just says, then it's this is perfection. You were carried away captain. captive. You were yoked together. You know what a yoke is? It goes over the backs of two animals like oxen. It makes like a an M over their necks. Two that are yoked together, you're tied together. You're yoked together in your own demon. Okay, so 
to preach deliverance to the captives. The word captive is a prisoner of war. And the recovering of sight to the blind. Ready? Recovering of sight. The restoration of sight. It's anablepsis, and it means to look up to recover your sight. Wow. To look up to recover your sight. Image of the Virgin. Turn it the other direction. You actually turned it up because you got turned upside down. So when you flip it, you're seeing what it really is. It's a dead sheep. And they're mocking the crap out of you because they know that all the angels that wanted to go for the daughters of men by getting your host body, which you did, you got your host body, but now you're trapped in it. You don't even know you're trapped in it because the prince of darkness runs the host body system through a twin system. That's why 9-11, they bombed the twin towers on 9-11 because the angel of the bottomless pit runs the twin system, 9-11. Angel of the bottomless pit runs the twin system. So they bombed the twin towers on 9-11 to show that he runs them. The number of people that were killed in the twin tower bombing, watch this, I mean, just watch this. Okay, how many people? How many deaths were, were in 9-11? 2,996. See it right there? Oh, no. Here it is. Watch this. During the set, here it is. 2,977 people were killed. 19 hijackers committed murder-suicide. Okay, ready? 2,977. Strong's. Watch this. So they're going to communicate in their language. Do you believe it was actually this number? I don't. I think this is a number that they just gave because they know that they are doing it all in secret. And it means to be done in secret, secretly, privately. To be done in secret. So that's what it means. Privately, secretly. So they did it secretly, just like murdering you. It's done in secret. Okay, here we go. So the angel of the bottomless pit that runs the twin system, which is the host body, he does all his killing in secret, and y'all don't even know you're being murdered on a daily basis by a serial killer. Okay, here it is. So to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, the recovering of sight to the blind, and to set at liberty a pardon and forgiveness to set at liberty those them that are bruised that have been crushed and i'll tell you what in my life i can tell you i felt the crush i did so many things to try and make everything work and make the big bucks made a million bucks did all of it did everything i thought i was supposed to do sold out Got the girl, got the cars, got everything, and it was empty. It was awful. And I was just like, this can't be what life is all about. Okay, now I just showed you what Jesus' mission was, according to his own words. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, the self existent eternal Jehovah. Okay, now, if we could tie Jesus. And we could prove that Jesus is the self-existent eternal Jehovah of the Old Testament. Do you know what a home run that would be? If we could prove that in the New Testament, Jesus is the self-existent eternal Jehovah. Oh, wait, I think I can. Here, let's do it. Ready? So let's take John chapter 3, verse 5. When he's talking to Nicodemus and he's telling him, you got to be born again. So Jesus answered and said unto him, verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again. The word born again, look what it means. Born again. So the word again, it means from above. You have to be born from above. It means anew, unless you're born from upward uh, or up. See it? 
you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. You will not see the kingdom of God. Ready? Get ready. Opposite. <laughs> okay. Do you understand? Unless you're born again from the opposite direction because you got turned down. Unless you're born again, the word born again means from the opposite direction upward. You will not from above. It says it right here. He cannot see, see the kingdom of God. So I couldn't see that the virgin was a dead sheep until I was born again. I'm like, what the hell? So the spirit inside me told me to invert the virgin. I'm like, because of that, I got saved. Remember the tags on my shirt? Read the tags in your shirt, Jonathan. 100% nylon. That didn't make any sense. I said 100% nylon. Then the Lord said, turn it upside down. The word nylon. 100% nylon goes to no line. 100% truth. Truth is not relative. It's absolute the other direction. So here we go. Here it is. So unless a man be born again regenerated again from above from the opposite direction he cannot see the kingdom of god because you see the kingdom of god here you can see it once you're once you get born again you just invert everything and you see it okay and then then nicodemus said how can he enter his mother womb the second time jesus said verily i say unto you except a man be born of water and the spirit right here capital spirit it's a very important word right here. Right here. Spirit. He cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Okay, that which is born of flesh is flesh, and that which is born of spirit is spirit. I'm going to highlight this, the word spirit here. I want to show you something. It's capital S, so I'm going to change the S to yellow. I'll change it to yellow because it's capital here. So this is the uh, the spirit. Unless you're born of the spirit. Now watch. 4151. So it says a current of air that is breath, blast, blast. And it says by analogy, figuratively, a spirit that is human, rational, soul by implication, vital principle, mental disposition, or here it is, superhuman and angel, comma, demon. That's not the one you get born again from. That's the one you get out of being. Watch. Angel, demon. So it says superhuman. That's what we actually are. We're superhuman and angel, comma, demon. And then look at this word right here. I'm going to prove all this out to you. This will be the biggest mind blower maybe of your life if you've never seen this. Or... So you're either a superhuman and angel demon or you're divine Christ Holy Spirit. Well, which one do you think is the one you have to be born again of? You know, divine God, Christ Spirit, the Holy Spirit. So if you were going to say, well, which one do you pick that makes you born again? Is it superhuman angel demon or is it Christ Holy Spirit? from above. Which one? It's a no-brainer. Well, if you get born again, you got to be born of the Spirit from above because it says it right there. Unless you're born again, the word again means from up and from the opposite because you got turned down. So what would that Spirit be? Would it be a superhuman angel demon? No, that's what you already are. You're an angel and a demon alongside. That's what the battle is inside of you. So to get converted, you have to be turned the opposite direction, and that's Christ's Holy Spirit, and the two become one. Your eyes become single, and your your sentence down in the pit that that worm that's following you everywhere you go that gets wiped clean because there's no more chalkboard because there's no more worm. He's dead. You killed the worm. The worm is turned for you. You killed the worm. Okay, so watch this now. Here, now, we're going to go look at the word spirit here. Let's just go to Ephesians 2 real quick, and I'll prove it. So here's what happens when you get saved. And you, he hath quickened. See right there? You get quickened. You were dead in your trespasses and sins, wherein in time past you walked according to the course of this world, 
according to the prince of the power of the air. That's, that's the bad guy. And who's that? The spirit that worketh in the children of disobedience. So the prince of the power of the air is Satan, and he is the spirit that works in the children of disobedience that wanted host bodies. Now I'm going to highlight this, all this rust color. You see the S that was capital over there in John chapter 3? I'm going to make show you it's small right here. Now, so the spirit that works in the children of disobedience, the ones, the ones that we used to be, among whom we also had our conversation in past times, in the lusts of the flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and we were by nature children of wrath as as even as the other now so watch so the prince of the power of the air is the spirit that works in the children of disobedience so let's click on the word spirit right here oh it's the same exact word as john chapter 3 where you got to be reborn a current of air a breath of blast so this is what the spirit that works in the children of disobedience it's a superhuman and angel demon that's this spirit. But then when you get born again, you get divine God, Christ, Holy Spirit. Now what I've done is I've used the scriptures to prove that you're in a twin system with an angel and a demon within you. A superhuman angel demon spirit at war with itself within the host body. And it's fighting for your soul. And the only way you win is by surrendering, not by fighting harder, not by trying to do stuff to be good, not saying I'll quit smoking, not saying I'll quit drinking, not saying I'll quit using drugs. None of those works. You have to say, I'm guilty. I deserve my punishment. You would be just in condemning me. I rebelled against you. I've sinned against you. And I know you died on that cross for me. And I'm so sorry to have put you through that kind of hor horrific torture to try and save me. Thank you. Forgive me. Then you fall in love with Jesus because you know he saved you from what you did. While you were yet my enemies, I saved you. Do you get it? Because you're inside a host body where you have your own demon. Okay. So. Let's see. I'm having a quick crisis here. There we go. Oh, wow. Almost had a complete failure there. Okay, so there it is. Now let's go back and look at Jesus. So now we know the prince of the power of the air is a superhuman angel demon. So there it is. Superhuman angel demon right there. And we know that God, Christ, Holy Spirit is divine. God, Christ, Holy Spirit. That's, but it's the same word. It's the same word. It's pneuma. It's the same number, 4151. But one of them, when it's in a small letter up front, it's small letter S, it's not capital. That's when you're a superhuman angel demon. And then when you get born again, you're divine God, Christ, Holy Spirit. And that just proves that the spirit that's running you before you get saved is a twin superhuman angel demon spirit. There, there it is. This is perfection. So now you know. And the only way to win is to surrender. You don't win by trying to be better. You don't win by going to church. You don't win by reading your Bible. You read by saying, I am guilty as charged. You would be just in condemning me. I deserve my punishment. I am so sorry. And then look at the cross. Look what he did for you. While you were yet my enemies, I saved you. That's what he said. Okay, now let's go back to John. Let's go back to John, and then I'll show you. Can we prove that Jesus, that Jesus is the self-existing eternal Jehovah? I bet we can. Watch this. So here it is. Jesus answered and verily said unto them, Unless a man be born again. So let's highlight Jesus in this super bright color right here. Super easy to see. So Jesus, let's click on it. Say it. It's pronounced. Here's the word right here in Greek. It's Iesus. I see these lunatics. Oh, Jesus is Zeus. It's like, okay, no, you're a lunatic. No, Jesus is not Zeus. They try and take a look. It's Zeus. It's pronounced yes, Jesus. See it? But the word 
Iesus is of Hebrew origin 3091. Jesus, that is Yehoshua. I want you all to say that word out loud. Yehoshua. I'm going to make this a different color blue because it's a conjunction of two words. Ready? So it says of Hebrew origin 3091, that is Yehoshua. So the word Yehoshua is a conjunction from Hebrew. Let's go to the Hebrew root right here. It's 39. It says, see, pronounced Yeho. See it right there? I'm going to highlight it the same. Yeho Shua. Right here. Yeho Shua. Yeho Shua. See it? Okay, so what's the Yeho part? Well, Yeho is the self-existent eternal Jehovah. Oh my gosh, there's Jesus. So the spirit of Jesus, the self-existent eternal Jehovah. Look at this. Remember that Hebrew word 1961? The self-existent eternal Jehovah right there. So let's walk it back now. Let's go back. So Yaho, and then let's do the Shua part in a different color, a different color blue, a lighter blue. So Yehoshua, so Yehoshua. Okay, so Yeho is from 3068, which means the self-existing eternal Jehovah. And then what's the Shua part? See Shua, 3469, to be open wide. Oh, wow, to, to open like the dungeon that you're in to set free, to be safe, wow, to preserve, to rescue, to bring salvation. There it is. Get the victory because our victory is through Christ. There is no other way to win this battle. So now I've spent the last, let's see, 42 minutes showing you what Lucifer's goal was to plump and fill Apollo's and to conceal himself in a host body system, to clad self, and to cover himself in skin. And I'll show you, it actually says in skin. And so to cover himself in skin and hide in the host body system where the angel comes in and he's alongside every day, he runs the twin system destroying you. And you don't even know what the hell is going on. You don't even know you're being hunted. You're being hunted for dinner, just like the clothing line by YG, 400. Hunted for dinner. See, that's why they even made the word hunted to have its Quinn word backwards, dinner. Hunted for dinner. You get it? And your soul's being hunted for dinner by them. Okay, so there it is. This is perfection in understanding the word. Uh, perfection in understanding what their, the goal of Lucifer, Satan is. Uh, and then now I can roll into the pictures. And if you guys can simply remember what I just showed you right now, we'll roll into the scriptures and destroy them. Watch this. Let's go to Genesis 2. So in Genesis 2, watch this. When the Lord God puts a soul into his, his representative. Now, remember, I told you Genesis 1 is the serpent race. It's really the fall. Genesis 1 is the fall the group organized for war, that's uh, uh, Lucifer and the serpent race getting started, and watch this, donning his own creation. And then in Genesis 2, it says, the Lord God formed man. Okay, so let's go back and look right here in Genesis 2. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished and all the host of them. So Genesis 1 was the making of the host of the heavens and the earth, it means a mass of persons or figurative things right there, especially organized for war and army. So no matter what anyone says, Genesis 1 was the, the formation of an army. By implication, a campaign, literally or figuratively, specifically hardship, worship, appointed time army, appointed time army, battle, companion, host, service soldiers. I mean, there it is. And then who did that? And on the seventh day, Elohim, oh, see, Elohim, that's not El, the Almighty God, is it? Nope, it's Elohim. Who's Elohim? It's a bunch of gods, but it's many in one. See, look, Elohim is the 
plural of 433, which is L-O-A. So here we go. So in the, sin, in the ordinary sense, but specifically used, it's of, right there, of, of the Supreme God. So Elohim is of the Supreme God. It can't be the Supreme God if it's of the Supreme God. So watch this. So we'll leave it like that. So the heavens and the earth were finished and all the hosts, the group organized for war. And on the seventh day, Elohim, Elohim right there, we'll make it green on that, right? We'll just make it green. There we go. Elohim ended his work. Okay, what was his work? Well, deputyship. Now, remember, I told you that down in the pit is a hexagon with a worm. The moment you were born, boom, baby worm starts attached to one eye. Other eye, angel, goes to a star. So now you're what you're born. One eye goes to a star where the El the Almighty God views through every single eye. And then the angel of the bottomless pit looks through the other eye. There's an angel and a demon inside everybody. Get it? So the Lord God is the angel in you. Satan is the devil in you. And your soul, your essence is what the battle's about. Now you understand the whole thing. How how beautiful and perfect is this to understand this? How beautiful. So see, look. And on the seventh day, Elohim ended his work. Deputyship, that is ministry, generally employment, but never servile. Wow. So let me ask you a question. Do you think Lucifer is servile? Do you think he, you think he serves the Lord God? No. Just... Did you watch those girls called um, The Warning? And they uh, they did that they did that song. Sorry, this seems like falling down. They did that song. Um, I forgot what it's called. It's it's in the show notes. Let me pause this and fix this headpiece. Those girls in the band. They she. I mean that those 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 girls are straight up run by the angel of Bombas Pit. She said. You're my maker, but you're not my master. And she got that exactly right. Hang on one sec, folks. Let me pause this and just get all. So see, we're all, we all have a little light in us and we all have darkness in us. And except the entire, the, there's a, there's a serpent race that's among us. That's just double down. And now that I've been converted, I'm two up. And anyone that gets converted is two up. Anyone that's being hunted is one up, one down. You still have a chance. And if you get converted before you die, then you're good to go. You're safe. Yeah, because your eyes have been redoubled and you're safe. It says to open the dungeon. You're the dungeon. Your eyes get open. The dungeon's open. You can see. So simple. Okay, here we go. Okay, so deputy ship. Now, remember down in the pit. And now just remember all this because we're going to do a lot of imagery here in a minute. So down in the pit. Let's do Google Images. Watch this. So down in the pit, we have... Um, like a wasness. Let me uh, let me type this in. Wasness. I want to show you a hexagram of filling with pupa. Let's see if I can get it on the first one. Okay, there we go. That's kind of like this. Let's see. Uh, I want to see it with the eggs, and it would be nice. Okay, basically right here. There you go, to fill up the hollows. Okay, you see this? So this is the middle of the hendecagram that I showed you last night. I'm going to show you again. But if I took a line and I went here to here to here, that's a right side up triangle. And then the upside down triangle. And that's where we're trapped. So there, see this, this grub, this worm, uh, locust as the case may be, palmer worm, they say locust, palmer worm, uh, maggot. It goes to your eye. It looks out of your eye. It's feeding off you every day of your life until you get converted. But if you don't get converted, you go straight there to your, straight there, and you go in and you are consumed and you are assimilated into a locust from the pit. And this is perfection in understanding this. And then let's see, let's go back now. Okay, so. 
let me go grab a picture of a deputy's badge now watch this because don't forget uh who's uh who's lucifer he's the deputy he's not serval he's doing his own thing and he's running his own kingdom which is the earth even though the lord god owns it all but he has dominion over it the prince of the power of the air you know lucifer got cast down he becomes satan and he runs the twin system so now let's do google images Let's do deputy badge. Deputy B A D G E. There we go. Deputy, there you go. Deputy badge right there. Perfect. So watch this. I'm just going to, uh, well, let me slide it. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Watch this. I'll take the deputy sheriff badge, which is a right side up, upside down. There you go. Da, da, da. There you go. So now if I kind of squeeze this down a little bit. I go right there. There it is. So you're in the hexagram of the deputy. Y'all, do y'all get it? I mean, y'all understand that see the, the interlocking right side up and upside down triangles, it makes a hexagram. So if I connect from here to here and from here, and so look at a red triangle, I'll just go right here. You know what? Hey, I got a drawing tool. What the heck? What's this? Let's draw it. What the heck? I forgot. There's basically that's not my best drawing. It's not that easy. So there's that. And then um, let's see if I can make a blue one. And then boop, ba doop, ba doop. And there you are. You're trapped in your own little hexagram. Get it? And you have your own worm feeding off you your entire life. Now, now here's the really super duper scary part. Okay, now let's go to the imagery. Okay, now the Lord has given me the ability to see so far beyond what the human brain can imagine. He allowed me to show you the Vatican as a snake wearing a crown, for God's sakes. The mouth of that serpent he allowed me to see as a big dead sheep hidden in plain sight. It's a bunch of angels melting into semen. It's male and female reproductive systems. Males right side up, females upside down. Perfection. And then he let me see that there's not only the Vatican of snake, but another snake that's birthing out of it. Parthenogenesis. That's why they're always in there singing to Lucifer dawning his own creation. Do you understand? Why else would you be standing inside of a snake unless you're the serpent race, and singing to Lucifer, which is synonymous for the serpent, dawning his own creation, because he dawned his own creation. That's what Genesis 1 is, the dawning of the creation, Genesis 1. Everybody was taught, oh, that's the Lord God. No, it's not. The Lord God comes into the system in Genesis 2, to reconcile everything so he is in the system allowing the system to exist and everyone gets free will and he's in the system reconciling the world back to himself yes absolute perfection okay i'm going to take a moment before we switch into all the imagery uh let me show you you know what let me switch over real quick to one of the folders and let me just make sure two eyes up let me just check this out real quick uh man these folders are worth more than all the gold in the world there's nothing that could nothing this this literally is a gift from the king of kings the lord of lords and he gave it to me to give to you my name means yahweh is given Okay, watch this. Let me just give you one little picture to get you ready. So if thine eye offend you, pluck it out. I think it's Mark. Uh, you know what? Hang on one sec. Let me show you this. This is mind boggling. If thine eye offend thee, pluck it out. For it is better for thee to enter into the kingdom of God with one eye than having two eyes and be cast into hellfire where their worm dieth not and the fire is not quenched, where their worm, and the word there is a baffling backwards wind right here, a baffling backward wind, where their worm, look at it, a grub or a maggot 
or a worm. So where their worm never dies, dieth not. Okay. If thine eye, ready? If thine eye, the eye, literally or figuratively, by implication, vision, if thine eye offend thee, look at the word offend, ready? It means probably a derivative of 2578 uh, to bend like a bow, like a thing of a rainbow, a trap stick bent sapling snare. Okay. If your eye offend you, the word offend is the same word that the Lord God used when he told Peter, when Jesus told Peter, uh, hey, Simon, son of Jonas, I'm going to change your name to Petros. And upon this rock, I'm going to build my church. Uh, Peter had no idea what he meant until Peter was crucified upside down. Then he knew because Peter had the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Peter even requested to be crucified upside down. Because Peter knew what the paradigm was. There is a right side up you and there is an upside down you in this system. But if you have the keys, you put the key in the lock and you turn it the opposite direction. And it turns it and the two become one. The bolt extracts when you turn the key upside down. The bolt comes out and you can open the door. There you go. So check it out. If thine eye offends you, look at the word offend. A trap stick bent sapling snare. Now watch. Let's just go to Google Images. And we'll go like this. And we'll put it right here. And we'll hit enter. Okay. A trap stick bent sapling snare. There you go. Ready? What is a trap stick bent sapling snare? Well, you bend it over. And here's the trigger mechanism. And if you touch that, you step in that, you see that? trigger that looks like a lightning bolt boop boop when you touch that with your foot what happens you get flipped upside down if your eye offend you get it whoop you got inverted told you so it's all through the bible it was in the vocabulary but you could never have understood this without reading hebrew and greek the lord told me i had to understand he said told me a long time ago you're going to read the Bible like this. And I was like, what? It's not there. It's going to be so hard. I can't believe you're going to make me do it. It's like, he's like, oh my God, shut up. I'm trying to give you the greatest gift. <laughs> no, it's going to be so hard. And then the first thing he did for me was the very first thing he showed me. I was like, oh my gosh. So the very first thing he showed me. I was like, <laughs> and then I was totally, yeah, I was all in. Anyway, so there it is. So see if your eye offends you. I should go like this. If your eye offends you, put you in a snare, plug it out. He doesn't really mean pull out your eye, but you understand. He's like, hey, you got one that like inverts you. Watch out. That's the one that's going to take you to the pit where the worm never dies. Now, let me show you an image right here. So I pulled this up. Uh, so this is... This is um, from the Vatican. You know, I've shown you this over and over. The guy in the slave collar, the slave collar is a beast, and you turn it upside down, and it's it's a locust flying out of the pit. Here's Prome the movie Prometheus, and the guy's infected by that serpent thing, right? The little thing in the canister. Look, look what's in his eye. A worm, just like this. So imagine in the pit, you have your own worm with a Bluetooth line to your eye, it sees everything you're doing. Just don't imagine it. It's what the scriptures say. Who would have thought that this is the most covert, insane, scariest shit reality that you could ever even imagine? This is serious stuff, folks. I mean, if you go to the pit, if you die and all of a sudden you're in a trap with that ever, and you're assimilated into a locust, eh, really? Wow. And then what happens? Hell is resurrected. It's thrown into the lake of fire because the Lord God burns it all. Burns it all. And there is no end to the torture. That's it. And you don't want to go there. And I don't want you to go there. And I'm just going to be honest. I have dedicated this last part of my, of my life. I just said, Lord, I don't care what it costs me. 
I will stay up all night. Uh, it's hard for me to sit here, guys. I'm in pain management. My legs and my back, the backs of my leg, I can't do this. I said, if you'll just get me there, you'll make sure I have what I need. I will sit here all night and I'll do videos. I will show everybody everything you've shown me. Now I, I totally understand the system. So now I can show it very easily to everybody. Just help me stay here. I've been doing this till last night. I was here till four in the morning, sitting right here. My eyes starting to twitch. <laughs> my eyes are all swollen. My one eye is starting to twitch. I'm starting to look like Chief Dreyfus in the Clouseau movies. <laughs> anyway, but here it is. Look at this. Look at this. Here is the Vatican. Human in a slave collar. It's the beast system. The woman that rides the beast is that twin female 2x energy from the pit. That's why he made sure at the end of my ministry I was involved with, I'm sorry, Karen and Kathy Sullivan, who are both uh, deceitful people. Kathy Sullivan on her fireplace uh, literally has two opposing triangles as a brand for cattle on her fireplace. I saw it during a FaceTime video with, uh, I think it was Kat, after one of our get-togethers at the, at the ARC. And Kat was going back to North Carolina. I think it was Kat. And had her FaceTime on. And I saw the chimney. And I saw the brand. It was a cattle brand because they own cattle. And I was like, what the hell? Who? What is, is that a brand on the fireplace? And I went, wow. And I heard Kathy goes, oh, shit. What did he see? And I said, I heard her say it. I was like, why would she say, oh, shit. What did he see? That's like Hillary Clinton saying, um, if Trump gets elected, we'll all hang. Why would you all hang, Hillary? What have you done to hang? Uh, Kathy, why are you going, oh shit, what did you see? Unless you're worried about me seeing something that I can see through y'all's evil facade, which I can, by the way. Absolutely. Same with Karen. That's why that evil behavior, what happened at the Ark was this. After Jim gets converted, he's like, I'm just going to open uh, our doors. They had a place out in the woods, and it was like Sanford and Son. It was a wreck. I'm going to open our doors, and we're going to take and think they had burned through $3 million already. They had no income, no way to make money, and they opened their doors, and we'll let, take in donations. I used the ministry I had, and I said, you know what? I, You know, you guys, if y'all want to take people in, I'll help fund it. Uh, we'll get the place. We got that place all fixed up. I poured money into it. Other people poured money into it. And then after the night under the stars and I found out Karen Sullivan was speaking evil nonsense, maligning me, people told me, uh, well, the Lord told me to confront her. I called and confronted her. She lied three times in a row. I said, Karen, I'm not telling you someone told me. The Lord God whom I serve told me you are speaking evil. You are speaking contemptuously about me and the ministry. So what's the, and she, she, so, huh, she has this really nervous laugh. She's kind of awkward. She's like, huh, huh, okay, well, I've started speaking evil. I was like, why in the hell would you do that? You've taken in all this money. You're asking people to pay bills like the tenants, handicapped people that I was like, that's wrong, man. We've given you all this money to pay your bills. We fixed up this property. We made it from a jump into what it was. And you guys are being hateful, and that's just weird. And that's when the Lord told me, tell her I'm taking away all her blessings. I'm taking her health. She's the one I laid hands on, stage four cancer. She actually had a tumor. She had a rectal tumor. It's called an apple core tumor. Let me show you what an apple core tumor looks like. I wonder what the odds are that she's got a tumor that's called an apple core tumor. And there's the core of an apple, a five-pointed star. Not even possible. And she's twin female. And she was speaking evil. And she's wearing, she's totally two-faced. Two-faced and lied. So that's a fact. Anyway, so now they've evicted the people at the Ark after all these people put money in. And I, I put all this money in and fixed the place up. But it was the Lord indicting the twin female system is what it really was. The Lord made sure that I put the shipping containers on their property, just like a federal agent showing up and going, you're, you're being, you're being served. You're, you're being indicted. It was the Lord God indicting her and the twin female system because he put the two shipping containers there and he had me go out there and say the eye in the sky. The Lord said, if I went out here on faith and told you that our other eye went to a star, he would show up. And when, when we went out there, 
the Lord showed up as a giant eye in the sky. I mean, it was insane with all the stars out in a big eye from the clouds around the moon. It made a perfect eye with like a rainbow. Uh, the colored part of your eye was like a rainbow, pink and blue and green. It was unbelievable. It was like, the Lord told me to tell Corey and Zach. He said he'll show up tonight if I just go out there and I step out on faith and I show you where our other eye goes to. He said, make sure you invite Jim and Karen. I said, guys, we got to go now. We went out there. When we got out there, I started talking for a minute in the little ark building. I said, he said, just to look up. And Aah! we looked up, there's an eye in the sky and all the stars. Aah! It was a freak out. So yeah, now I know because her, the, her hateful, maligning attitude is just a manifestation of what runs her. That's why she was never, she was never at peace. The Lord healed her, but she was never at peace. Oh, here you go. Watch this. There you go. Bam. Anyway, but the Lord said He's taken away all our blessings, and He said I'm taking away her health now, and I believe that's already happened, and I, I don't take any pleasure in that at all, but I I will tell you this, um, it had to happen, and God have mercy on them. So anyway, let's move on. So yep, that's what happened. Let's keep going. Here's the evil twin female system we're up against. Here's what it does to us. One eye in our, in our body goes to the pit where a worm is feeding us, off us our whole lives. Ezekiel, I'm against you women. You hunt the souls of men to make your pillows fly. Let me go down and show you that real quick in Ezekiel. Yep. Ezekiel right there. Ezekiel 13. Let's see if I have it highlighted on this computer. I don't think I do. Wherefore, thus saith the Lord God, I am against your pillows, wherewith ye hunt. There it is. Wherewith ye hunt. Look what, it, look what the word hunt means to lie alongside and wait. See it? To lie alongside and wait. By implication, to catch figuratively men. You hunt the souls to make your pillows fly. To, look at this. To hunt. There it is. I mean, you cannot make this up. To take for provision. To make. You hunt the souls to make them fly specifically to spread forth their wings, extending their wings, and to fly. Let me show you where you can see an image of that. Right there in the Vatican. There's our condition. The twin female is the evil, evil, evil thing that did this to us. That's the twin female represented by Mut, the primordial goddess of creation of the twin parthenogenic system, because Genesis 1 was parthenogenesis and here is what happens to one of us we get assimilated into a locust from the pit and at the end of the cycle of an earth all these things hatch once they have their little pillows on top and they come out and that's because one of our eyes goes to the pit where the record is kept against us wow <laughs> okay now, I'm going to take a little break. Hopefully, Lord, please, everything remain good. I'm going to take a moment and uh, get some water and then uh, get ready for an, maybe another hour. Here we go. Okay, so now let's let's just talk about that, that worm thing. If thine eye offends you, if it puts you in a, a trap that's upside down, that's what a snare is. A snare is a trap that turns you upside down. A bent sapling snare is a trap that inverts you. You know what? Let's go to First Peter two. Um, like I said, I just wanna I I wanna be extremely thorough. Excuse me for the burps, guys. I'm, I just drank some carbonated water. Um, so here we go. Let's go to First Peter. Um, First Peter. I think it's First Peter two. Give me one moment. Okay, so. Okay, here it is. Okay, First Peter 2, yeah. So you are a, okay, chosen generation, a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people that you should show forth the praises of him who has called you out of the darkness and into his mar marvelous light. 
Hang on one second. Uh, remember, think of the builders as Genesis 1, those that built the place. Lucifer and the gang that said, we're going to start a system, a host body system, an idolatrous system. I showed you Genesis 1, the production of male and female is the production of an idol. And let, we're, we're going to go look at that. And it shows in that production that the female and that the female is a curse. Watch. Okay, so in First Peter 2, Unto you therefore that believe he is precious, but to them which are disobedient, the stone which the builders disallowed, the builders is Genesis 1, those that built the place, disallowed, the same is made the head of the corner. And he is a stone of stumbling and look, a rock. I want you to look very closely right here. This is so important. Look at the word rock. It's it's Petra. See it? Petra. It's G Greek word 4073. I'll make it that, that rust color. It says a mass of rock, literally or figuratively a rock. Okay, now don't forget, I'm the guy that the Lord God gave two halves of the same rock in Chinati when he told me to go skydive into the desert with a parachute that says V for vengeance. And as I walked down this dried out riverbed, out of a hundred trillion rocks, he stopped me and said, pick up those two rocks, now put them together. Because he would have me understand that the putting together of the two faces of the same rock was what being in his church was. You get inverted and then you put them together and you're on the rock. That's what being on the rock is. And then he actually gave me a physical representation of that. Now watch. So he is a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense to them which stumble at the word being disobedient. And by the way, I'm just, I'm going to mention this. When I met the Sullivans, Karen and Kathy, I'm not, I'm just going to say, it. I was just, approached in the most annoying way uh kathy sullivan just like oh look i want to show you something in the scriptures this is what the lord showed me and he said that you would understand what i'm saying i mean this was like on my second meeting with the family when i and i was just i just went like do not ever do that please don't ever don't do not just from that time on, I stiff-armed Karen all the time. And, I mean, Kathy and Karen was the same, like coming up with these ideas of this is what the scripture means. And I'm like, where are you guys getting this? I actually got an email one time. She said, I may not have an open door because I have an open door to the Lord. That's why I can show you the Vatican's a snake. Because the Lord says, Jonathan, come at it at a 45 degree angle. I want to show you something. But Karen wrote me and said, I may not have an open door, but this is what the Lord showed me. Like, in. Eh. I was like, did you really? I'm the guy that the Lord God sent to lay hands on you, and you would speak to me that way? In a disrespectful, hateful, arrogant. I was just like, wow. Aren't you an arrogant? Yeah. And, and their idea of scripture was far from accurate. Anyway, so here we go. And he is a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense to them which stumble at the word being disobedient, whereunto they were also appointed. Now watch. A stone of stumbling and a rock of offense. Look right here. You see the rock of offense? I'll just put that as green. Ready? Look at the word offense. A snare. A snare. Scandalon. A bent sapling trap. Trap stick, a bent sapling that turns you upside down. A trap stick, bent sapling snare. So there it is, a trap stick, a bent sapling. See it? A trap stick, bent sapling, a snare. So the word is a snare to them. They think they, you know, I, I want, they used to stay up, Karen used to stay up all hours of the night trying to resolve the Bible. And I was like, that is so weird. The Lord's given the gift of the unrolled scroll to me. He unrolled it and he said, this Jonathan deliver it. And they're trying to come up with their own interpretation that just never made any kind of sense. And they would try and force it on other people. 
and they would not let other people uh, comment against it. Actually, I, I come to find out some of the chat rooms they were in, they would post stuff and they would say no one's allowed to comment against what we're posting. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because it's total nonsense. Anyway, but see, the Lord is a rock of offense to those that stumble at the word, a trap stick, bent sapling snare, because he'll never let them understand the word because they're not his. They, they don't belong to him. So he'll never let them understand the word because the system that they run, the twin female is this. They run that hunting system where, where would you hunt the souls of men to make your pillows fly? And here's an exact representation of there it is, to make your pillows fly. There it is. And the Lord's let me see and understand it. That's why Lady Gaga, or that D. Anford, has Lady Gaga look like birthing a Jerusalem cricket, a locust. She's birthing that thing in a gynecologist's office in D. Anford's video called Fatty Fatty Boom Boom. And here you go again. So remember I showed you the Twin Towers, because this is the mother goddess that runs the twin system. See, the Statue of Liberty, just because you're looking at a thing that they told you it was, oh, it's going to give us your whatever, your refuse or whatever. Uh, go read the poem again. It's about twin cities that twin cities frame. And uh, the Statue of Liberty represents Mut, the primordial goddess that started the parthenogenic twin female system. That's why she's standing on top of a hendecagram, which represents a, it's a geometric representation of a body, a host body. It's called a calipot. That 11 pointed star is called a calipot. And it represents a host body that houses the essence of holiness, but is inherently evil and is run by Thamuel, which means twins of God. And the twins of God that run it, the one that runs the twins of God is Satan. So I showed it to you in those slideshows. I'm going to show it again tonight. We're going to go over a lot of this. But during the September 11th attack, 2,977 people were killed. 19 hijackers committed murder-suicide, whatever. Uh, 19 means slaughter. And here is the Vatican, which is a snake wearing a crown, a serpent wearing a crown. And then here is Audience Hall, which is another serpent birthing out of it, representing the twin system that the angel of the bottomless pit runs. And there is the Statue of Liberty. A lot of people think it's ISIS, uh, but you gotta, you gotta be a little more diligent on your understanding. It represents Mut, M-U-T, the primordial goddess of uh, fertility. That's why, now let's look at some pictures. That's why there's girls that wear dresses like this where it's a bug, see the bug? There's the eye, there's the eye, there's the mandibles. That's why there's a clothing line called Broken Promises. And it's a rubber suit of a female. And there's a demon that comes out and says Broken Promises. It's what's inside that counts. This is another one of their clothing lines. Um, this is called Sketch. I forget, Sketchy Tank. And this represents, this is a vagina. I'm sorry, but it is. And death, here's a skeleton. And then if you, I'll just go up here and just keep an eye on it. And it's an insect coming out of a dimension because sex with that race of beings opened up the dimension to the insects. And it's STFU, shut the F up, we're vampires. It's a vampiric system. That's why Cain and Abel were the first two kids that are born. That's why Marina Abramovic, the witch of Hollywood, and Debbie Harry, who's H.R. Uh, Geiger's little muse, Debbie Harry, you know, blondie, Look, she, they make, they literally make an entire cake of their body. Look, they cut out their own heart and they eat it. They, they eat their own heart. I mean, do you know how whacked out that is? Do you think that's a little bit weird? Uh, let's see. Let me, there we go. Yeah, so, and then they have these people like performance artists that they have sit there under, they cut a hole in the table and they have these people's heads through the table where they're eating food. The, I mean, 
Someone that took this gig, man, you must really need some cash. That is really sad. Okay, so now all these folders now, when you put these with the biblical understandings, you'll find out that everything is perfect. Let me give you a little thing from the Targum. Jonathan and Adam knew Hava, his wife, who had desired the angel, and she conceived and bare Cain. She said, I've acquired a man, the angel of the Lord. So Cain was Satan in the flesh, and she added to bear from her husband Adam his twin, even Abel. Cain and Abel were twins, and I can prove that using the Bible. I don't need the Targum, Jonathan. I can prove it right now. I'll just do it right in front of you. Let's go to Genesis 3. So see, Cain and Abel were twins. If you knew that, that would probably change a lot. Okay, and Adam knew Hava. Look, the word for for uh, Eve is Hava. So just like Targum Jonathan, uh, Hava, his wife, and she conceived and bare Cain. She said, I've gotten a man from the Lord. And again, she bare his brother. Look at the word she again. It means to add or to augment. Do you know what that means? Again, she bare, she, so she continued her birthing process. Again, she bare, she augmented her birth and bare his brother Abel. So Cain and Abel were twins. She continued birthing and she brought forth Abel, Cain and Abel, represent the twin cannibalistic serpent eating its own tail system because we're in the serpent system. It's a no brainer now. Because the Lord's given me all the scriptures to understand it. And he's given me all this data that proves it. And now the Ozzy Osbourne video shows literally the twin female red and blue coming up from the pit. By the way, red and blue mixed together makes purple. And now look, here they are coming together as one. And it becomes the serpent race. Bam. And if you paid attention, there was a pink bow tying them together. Watch. Watch them get tied together with the pink bell watch. Right. And that's what the vaccine's all about, by the way. Putting the platform in you for the chip. There's the pink bow. Now it becomes a serpent. See it? Because the two female, the energy of the twin female coming together at the end of the world, that's the serpent race. That's the dragon. The dragon is the serpent. And the dragon gives his power unto the beast. Who's the beast? The whole human race. He gives his power unto the whole host body system, and he runs them. He runs them. He's the source running everybody, and everything's going to turn so freaking evil. It is going to blow your mind. It's going to be so scary for those people that are not converted. They are going to freak out. Let me show you something about the woman, because I told you, the female thing is what attached us to the insects. Let's go to the Bible again. Let's go to Proverbs 5. Uh, I want to show you something that's just not arguable. For, for Proverbs 5. For the lips of a strange woman. A strange woman. To be a foreigner, strange, profane. Drop as a honeycomb, or drop as a honeycomb, and her mouth is smoother than oil, than oil, but her end, her end is as bitter as wormwood, sharp as a two-edged sword. Look at this. Her feet go down to death. Her steps take hold on hell. Look at the word feet. A foot is used for walking by implication of step. Euphemistically, the pudenda. Okay, ready? I'm going to copy that. So the strange woman, which is representation of that twin female system. Let me Google images. Let's see. I will do female pudenda. Her pudenda vagina takes hold on hell. That's why there's locusts that enter in the pit. Now picture this. So when a penis goes into a vagina, it goes in, it plumps, it fills up the hollow, it injects semen light. That light goes into a little egg. If it goes in and it fertilizes it, boom, 
new locust in the pit attached to the baby and the baby's still at one light one eye goes to heaven one eye goes to the pit that's lucifer's system to plump fill up the hollows if the egg goes in and if the sperm goes in the egg during intercourse which is plump filling up a hollow and then if the egg gets fertilized then boom new cell down in the wasp nest or down in the locust nest in the pit and then you have let me show you let me just go to the picture then you have another baby and the baby's eye is attached to filling up the hollows to a worm that's attached to him his whole life and unless he gets converted this is a horror show i'm showing this horror movie that's gone live and it's absolutely perfect with the vocabulary and everything. It's not arguable. No. I'll tell you what, I'm, my computer is feeling super hot. Let me see if uh, maybe it needs just a fan on it for a bit. Okay, so uh, again, I'm going to go through um, these pictures. Let's look at all these girls. Why are all these girls have uh, a skull? tattooed on the back of the mouth of a skeleton or a skull tattooed on the back of their hands. Well, because that's what they represent. That's, I mean, that's, that's what they represent. That's why there's one girl in here that's got it right on top of the face of her boyfriend. And here is the primordial goddess of twins, Mutt. There it is. See the twin serpents, twin eggs right here, here and here. There you go. And at the end of the Earth cycle, the serpent race takes over, and that's what's in the Ozzy Osbourne video, and that's what's in the Pfizer advertisement. I mean, look at the Pfizer advertisement. See the Pfizer vaccine with the needle going in the bottle right here, and they made the F and the I join together because F is six, I is nine. The Bible says now there, from the sixth hour, there was darkness over all the land to the ninth hour. They're going to make sure you never get the ability to get out of this system by putting graphene in you with the, the vaccine. And then when they put that chip in your right hand or your forehead, you'll never, once that goes in, the graphene goes online, you go to 5G. The other 5G, 5, ready? 5G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Destroy the other 5, get it? 5G, destroy the other 5. They don't want you to get turned up. Keep it like this. So you got a you got a neuro net in you, or I'm I'm sorry, a magnetic net in you that's tied to your 5G signal. So you can never get inverted now. You can never be converted. Converted and inverted are synonymous. So that's why in the Ozzy Osbourne video, it shows the six and the nine. Same as knowing the truth of the Bible. How in the world did they get that right? And Ozzy has an RX you know, for a pharmacy in the middle of the six and the nine. I mean, you can't make this stuff up, folks. Uh, it's just not even possible. Uh, let's see, let me show you this. Okay, so statue of Eleutheria, statue of Mutz. Here it is, ready? There you go. This is a movie called, this is a series called The Strange. Look, The Strain. There it is, look, because it's true. I mean, there's a ton of truth to that. There you go, watch this. Okay, here's another thing from the strain. There you go, the strain. Why do they have a worm coming out of the eye? Because it's true. Same as Prometheus, if thine eye offends you, pluck it out. Now let's look at some stuff like, uh, remember the Women's March in Austin? So you got two females dressed as vaginas. Do y'all remember what they said? Do you want to watch the little video clip one more time? Have y'all seen it enough? Uh, how long did it take you to make your costume? Since the beginning of time. Because they know their vagina is a costume. It's really the angel of the bottomless pit dressed up as a woman. That's what it is. It's a costume. Lucifer said, I will exalt my throne to plump and fill up the hollows above the stars about how are you going to do that i'll set a trap 
using a host body that's male and female and the angels will take it because you can't get an angel to surrender their power you can't beat an angel they have to go against god and when they go against god then they get in a host body system and they're destroyable that's why uh that's that's what this whole world is all about here's another uh lovely uh like poster for the strain there you go represents all those that got went to the pit there you go going into your dimension because you didn't take the free gift of god there it is and you became one food for a worm where the worm never dies here's an amazing image right here most people have never seen this this is an insect coming out of a hole right here there's the eye of the insect eye of the insect coming down the face here's the proboscis right here there's the antenna so there's the antenna here's the eye here's the eye this is the face there's the other antenna it's two guys it's two men making up like a bee just squint your eyes a little bit squint your eyes see the bee right here coming out of a hole let me show you where that is right there you see that's an insect coming out of the hole see the hole it's a damn bug I'm right in front of the dead sheep and the sheep is all the angels that they're murdering I'm against you women who want the souls of men to make your pillows fly. Let me show you the graphene, what graphene looks like. There you go. Here's graphene. You see the right side up, upside down triangle? Wow, that's exactly what's in the 2020 dating commercial. No way. So they have the same exact symbology in the 2020 dating commercial. Let me see if I can just scroll up a little bit. And uh, here we go. Let me just do this. Okay, so let me show you graphene that's going in everybody's body. There it is. There's the graphene. See the right side up triangle, upside down triangle? There's uh, like the Star of David, but it's really uh, male and female interlocking. It's the same as graphene. The molecular st structure of graphene is a hexagon. Now watch. So we know it's a hexagon. Uh, so let's look at the Vatican. There's the Vatican Sea. There's the light trapped in the, like the wasp nest, because we're angels, we're light. And then same thing as the 2020 dating commercial. When she goes to meet Satan, look up under here. Just pay attention. There it is. It's the whole thing's a hive. What did it say when his little Paul came through? Hey, you're a match. So he's going to meet the bug. What's the bug? A woman. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Now you know why Lady Gaga is standing there with her hands on her hip like that. Because when she's standing there with her hands on her hip, she's making a hexagon. See it? And what's in the hexagon? The bug on her dress. Wow. That's pretty crazy. So there you go. So she's making a hexagon with her shoulders, her elbows, and her hands. So the bug on her dress is in the middle of a hexagon and on her dress is a damn snake and the spear tip going through the vagina goes into the mouth of the bug that's insane because that's exactly what the vatican is you have a big bug right there and the chair of saint peter's which is a peter which is a penis is going into the mandibles of the giant bug representing the king the angel of the bottomless pit which is the king of all the insects wow because he comes in many forms. Okay, and here is that chair of St. Peter's, and it's a penis, and there it is, and there's all the Elohim melting into semen, and there, it, this is where the bugs' mandibles are. So this is the entrance to the vagina. When you turn this upside down, it's the female reproductive system, and the female reproductive system is upside down. The male reproductive system is right side up, the whole damn thing is a dead sheep. There it is. So the whole thing makes a, a dead sheep. And the dead sheep is being eaten by a bug. What did Lucifer say his throne was in the beginning of this video? I will exalt my throne as canopied, right? Canopied. 
to plump and fill up the hollows, you know, like a wasps down in the pit. So, and to cover self. Because Satan is everywhere. He's the host body system. That's what he is. The flesh is in opposition to the spirit. So the, the flesh is exemplified right here in what's called the hindecogram, which is a kilobot. And this is just made out of serpent's heads. This is really cool because you can see it's all an 11-pointed star, but it's made out of serpent's heads. And you can still see all the Hebrew writing around the whole thing. And in the dead center is the angel that's being destroyed, the spark of holiness that's getting destroyed. That's funny. That's the same damn thing on the U.S. currency where it says e pluribus unum because the single-headed phoenix, the, you know, you think it's just a bald eagle. No, 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 no. You know, the double-headed phoenix, it's made its full loop. And the single-headed phoenix that's coming up is that female twin energy. And that, that and then it says, e pluribus unum, out of many one. What does it make when you connect these? Oh, wow, the same damn thing is a graphene molecule. Molecule, you got to be joking. Nope, it's the same darn thing as the middle of the hindecogram which represents the host body destroying an angel, which is a star. So see, the Lord has made me very wise. He's made me, given me the ability to see. Can anyone argue with me? Is that a dragon with its mouth wide open? It's a yes or no answer. It's either a dragon with its mouth wide open or it's not. If it is, then everything I'm telling you is right. This is the canopy in the middle of the Vatican. Oh, Lucifer as in canopy. Now, isn't the dragon, the serpent, Satan, and the devil all the same? Sure they are. Well, there's the dragon. So we're talking about Satan right here. Satan is Lucifer after being cast down. And so now I busted their whole kingdom because their kingdom was the kingdom of darkness. But the Bible says where your light shines, it will expose their evil deeds. Let me just show you the dragon with nothing colored. And just squint your eyes. Squint your eyes. See the eye right here, eye right here. Here's the nose. Here's the open mouth. Here's a horn. Here's another horn wearing a crown. So I can see it. I mean, instantly. There's a dragon. There's the eye. There's the eye. Here's the nose. There's a horn. There's a horn. Nose. Open mouth. Uh-huh. So why is there a dragon on the corner? Well, isn't that crazy that the dragon is also a locust? Well, I wonder what the odds are that the dragon is also a locust and that just happens to be the system that it says Lucifer I will exalt my throne above the stars of El. Well, let's have a look. Here you go. I put a locust over here. See the locust? Look right here. Look, look where the eyes are. Eye, eye. Eye, eye. See the eye? See the eye? See the faceplate? See the faceplate? Mandibles? That's a locust. So the dragon, there's the locust. And it becomes the twin female. Uh-huh. And uh here you go. And when you go, when you go down, uh, when you go down under here, when you go down under that canopy, and you walk through the little doors that go down underneath, they have two upside down crosses because they are as evil as it gets, twin female. Now let's talk about the mark of the beast. The mark of the beast, the word mark right here, it means to sharpen to a point. It means a palisade, look, a palisade. See a palisade or a rampart, military mount for circumvallation in a siege. So a palisade and a stake. So you see this palisade? Do you know what a palisade is? It's a sharp fence post to keep people from getting in or out. It's identical to the tip of a hypodermic needle. What's a stake? Well, if you've ever put one in the ground, you know, they come in different sizes. But if you had an if you had a syringe and an RFID chip, it's a palisade and a stake. It's exactly what it is. And it's meant for circumvallation in a siege. Circumvallation in a siege is when you have a city like Jerusalem and you put up a mound all the way around the city with a bunch of spikes so no one gets out. You just starve them out. You, you just wait until they're out of food. What do you think is going on right now in the world? They're killing the world food supply. They're going to make everyone dependent on the government. If you want any food, take a chip. Otherwise, go get in the line to get your head cut off. That's where we're at right now. 
So look at this, the mark of the beast, the mark of the beast to sharpen to a point through the idea of scratching a stake by implication, a palisade. So let me show you a palisade and a stake so you can look at them and know exactly what it is. So here you go. There you go. You see that? Like a palisade fence post? Palisade, that's a RFID injector. There's the stake, RFID and the stake. Now, if I put that next to an actual RF, uh, actual palisade, I'll just type it into Google right in front of you. Watch. Let's get rid of the female pedina thing. Let's get rid of the apple core tuna thing, tumor thing. Let's get rid of that. And let's do Google images. Let's look at a metal palisade. Metal palisade. Let's do tips. So you can see, there you go, right there. Okay, there you go. So you tell me, it says palisades. These are palisades. So these are fence posts. There you go. Is that look like a hypodermic needle? It's a yes or no answer. I'll just do this one. Does that look like a hypodermic needle right here? Yes or no? It sure does. Okay, well, let's go back. Let's go over here. Oh, here we go. Look at the one. Let's take a look at the One World Freedom Tower. See the world, One World Freedom Tower? Do you think that looks like a syringe? Uh, yeah, it sure does, doesn't it? This is the logo for the One World Freedom Tower that took over the twin towers that were there that they burned down on purpose. Does it also make the eye of a dragon? Let's see why it sure does. It makes a dragon's eye. It makes a needle and injector. Let's go look at BHO. His his name spelled backwards on his passport when his mom tried to get him from Indonesia was was um, Sobarka. Do you know what the name Sobarka? It was on Obama's passport when his mom tried to do his passport renewal from Indonesia. It said Barack Hussein Sobarka. If you spell, spell Sabarka backwards, it's Hakrab Eos. Hakrab in Hebrew is scorpion. Wow, that's convenient because scorpions come out of the pit and they have a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit. But in the end of the world, that spirit takes over their guy. I wonder who that could be. Well, let's see. Hakrab Eos means scorpion, then Eos is goddess of the dawn, you know, like Lucifer. I wonder what the odds are that on Obama's passport from renewal from Indonesia, it says Barack Hussein Sobarka and backwards is Scorpion Goddess of the Dawn. There you go. And then you see the letter O for one. Here is the RFID chip that goes in your right hand and your forehead. Do you see a similarity between this letter O and this letter O and this guy and this total dirtbag Cuomo? There you go. You know what's coming now? <laughs> it's like, okay. <laughs> okay, let's look at let's look at the uh Catholic coin because those guys look. Uh there's a girl and a girl on two sides. You see how they made this all dark? Look. See, like injecting the darkness. Now, do you believe that the girl that designed this coin, they said her name was uh, Chiara Principe, and I was like, no way. And I went and looked it up. Here it is, right here in the article. It says, and the coin was the Catholic Church has traditionally opposed abortion, and the Vatican has made an exception that COVID 19 vaccines produced using abortion derived cell lines is morally acceptable when other alternatives are not available due to grave danger. Whatever, the coronavirus is a joke. They're going after those of us. Do you get it? Corona, crown. That's what Corona means. We're royalty. We're princes. They want to destroy all God's princes. What was Lucifer's thing I told you at the beginning? I will ascend above the stars. of. Okay, now here we go. Let's see. What's her name? Uh, so apparently Chiara Principe is the one that designed this lovely coin. I don't know that I believe them, but I can certainly tell you that um, uh, I believe God could have 
uh, because God is so amazing that I could see actually someone named Chiara Principe actually designing it. But let's see. Let's see. It's not in this part. Let me just show you what Chiara and Principe mean. So when you look up Chiara, in one language, it means dark and light. So it's, and the word Principe means light, uh, prince. Prince of light or prince of the dark light. Well, and the coin itself, look at all the darkness around this girl injecting him. So she's got all this black darkness around her. And he's sandwiched between two females. Get it? Wow, that's interesting because that's the same thing that's going on in the Ian Bud Light commercial. Okay, remember Ian gets escorted into the party. He's got twins that are his date. Here he goes. Okay, see him escorted into the party? Watch. He's in between. He's in between the two twin females. And then he goes in. He says, everyone's a twin? Everyone here is a twin. You're starting to get the twin female parthenogenesis thing is all true now. They put it right in front of you all the time. You just never would go, what's with all the twin girls? What's the deal? Uh, what about the two women at the Women's March? Since the beginning of time. Same thing. It's always the same thing. So do you think it's a coincidence that Lady Gaga has an Oreo cookie out? and uh, her own oreo cookie packaging and it happens to match the rip in the side of the twin towers which represents you know the pit in the other video i noticed i was really tired i said the twin towers go down to the pit what i mean is the twin system goes down to the pit and lady gaga has a package showing the twin system ripping open like the pit opening up that's no different than the clothing the clothing line called lurking class because lurking class, same as Lady Gaga's cookies, watch. So here's Lady Gaga's Oreo cookie matching the rip in the side of the Twin Towers representing the pit opening up. Here's lurking class, which means to lie alongside in wait, which is exactly what I showed you say, uh, Satan's goal was to lie alongside in wait. Ezekiel, I'm against you women who want the souls of men to lie alongside to slaughter to hunt. Well, that's what lurking class clothing shows. It shows death. Okay, so here you go. So here is here is one of uh where to go? The Grim Reaper right here. But I'm not sure how to get this thing to move. Here's the Grim Reaper right here. Death right there. Uh and then when you just turn it upside down, it's an insect hatching from a pupa, which is the same as lurking class boxer shorts. See, it's death coming out of your crotch. And what is death really? It's an insect race getting ready to hatch because that's what death really is. See, now you know what death is. When you die, you go to the pit and you're consumed. You're assimilated by your own worm that's looking through your eye your whole life. That's why Jesus said, I will restore to you the years the canker worm is eating, the palmer worm, the locust, all that. Because once you get saved, you're no longer being eaten by a worm, and then you're going to go to heaven. He'll restore all that because you're no longer being consumed. Get it? Here's a, here's a trailer that just came out. It's called Jeepers Creepers, and it says evil is reborn, which is what's happening right now on the earth. That's what's going on with Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer and, uh, you know, what's it, Biden and his son that have sold us out to China. Those guys have sold out all of us, guys. You all know that, right? But it's a serpent race thing. Uh, here's, uh, let's see. This is a representation of ancient Egyptian iconography, which is kind of cool just to know. See, going between the two pillars, see the serpent female. That's, I think that's called Amnuet, or let's see, I don't want to get it wrong, get it wrong. Amunet, the female hidden one. 
overshadowed by Amun's consort by Mut, but she remained locally important anyway. So the female hidden one, that's what's our serial killer that's hunting us all down our whole lives. And again, it's not just a female genitalia, it's female, twin female energy. Penises and vaginas don't matter in this, it's energy. And once it's mixed within the host body system, I mean, that same female energy can be hunting through a male body, through a female body. That's why there's all this transgender confusion here in the end of the world. It's a no brainer. And then the vaccine, look at, look at this, watch this. Look at what they wrote on this vaccine article. I mean, seriously, COVID-19 vaccine efforts must redouble, look at that, in, in quotes, redouble or new variants will emerge. See, they got, they got to make sure we got to read up. Did y'all know COVID backwards is, they literally have it listed. It says DVOC. Y'all know what DVOC is? A DVOC? Let me show you. So let's do COVID, you know, upside down and backwards. DVOC, DVOC, from Hebrew verb, meaning to adhere or to cling, is a malicious possessing spirit believed to be the dislocated soul of a dead person. This is exactly correct. So COVID backwards and upside down, divak, pronounced in Yiddish, divak. It is, it means to adhere or cling as a malicious possessing spirit. It supposedly leaves the host bodies once it has accomplished its goal. Yeah, what's its goal? To destroy you. Now you know what the COVID vaccine is all about? It's total BS. Let's look at all the places you can go get your COVID test. These are all COVID places. I care. Look, right side up, upside down, red and blue. Uh, rapid care, right side, well, east and west, whatever, red and blue. Cruz us, red and blue. Somos, it means we are. I mean, you know, you can't make this step up, guys. I just can't do it. 91, Divok, 91 meaning in Hebrew, let's see. 91 Divok meaning the meaning of name Divok, possession of a malevolent soul uh, as of a Hebrew start. Divok suggests in Latin, discrete partition, upset, segment, tear, obliteration. No big deal. Probably nothing to see here. Now let's talk about these girls. Why do these girls have the same stuff on them as graphene in the middle of the hindecogram. Remember, let's look at the hindecogram real quick. Remember, what's in the middle of a hindecogram? The twin system, right? Right side up, upside down, interlocking triangles. And it, this is the uh, ge geometry that they use to represent that system. Why would some girl do this? I mean, why? why would a girl say, hey, you know what? I'm going to go get this big insect cicada tattooed on my body. Look right here, right side up, upside down, right here, right side up, upside down, interlocking triangles because they know that they're, it's an insect hunting system because they're part of it. That's why someone would have a tattoo of that looks like the virgin, but it's really an insect because the insect and the virgin are synonymous. That's why the that's why the corner of the post of the canopy at the Vatican is an insect. And I just I'm sorry, I just scrolled past it, but I'll go back. And that's why again you see the list of popes. So again, one more time, dead sheep. See it? Dead sheep, bunch of angels melting into semen. The spirit of Elohim moved over the semen. So I'm going to, the Ruach Elohim, the spirit of Elohim moved over the semen. So here's a bunch of Elohim. Here's semen. Let me go to the Bible and prove it. Ready? Bible. Genesis. Genesis 1. And the earth was out form and void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. What's the word deep? An abyss, a surging mass of water, especially the deep. Ready? 
And the Spirit of God moved upon the face. The word face means the face as the part that turns. See it right there? So the word face, it says the face as the part that turns, turns away from the Lord God. Okay. I moved upon the face of the waters. Semen. See it? Semen. So I'm showing you an altar right now that is actually the spirit of Elohim, because those are Elohim. Those are gods, angels, magistrates moved, and they're turning away from God, and they're going down to these adult women. And they're, the women are reaching out, saying, come to us. And here it is, moving over them, and they're melting into semen. That's it. It's a fact. Okay, now let's take that same thing, and I'm just going to draw it in for you. There it is. No doubt about it. Now let's invert it. Let's invert that image right here. And now I've drawn in the female reproductive system. That's why they put these guys in mitre hats to make an ovary fallopian tube, ovary fallopian tube, uterus, cervix, clitoris, opening to the vagina. There it is. All the angels make cubic hair. And now let's invert them both, one on top of each other, keeping the center. You see right there? So you have male right side up, female upside down, and X marks the spot right in the middle because that was the goal. X marks the spot. That's what gets the whole world done. That's what gets their race going. That's what allows free will. That's what a whole world is all about. And this is what the world is really all about. And if anyone has any can tout or disbelieve, just go tell me why Van Halen would have a cover that's this balance. Huh? It's a seesaw. One goes up, one goes down, and it's on the down, and they got one screaming trying to get away from the other one because down wants to take over up. Now, I'm going to show you something that's going to blow your mind in the book of Revelations. Did you know in the book of Revelations, in the book of Revelation, it says, Right here. Who, the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave to him to show unto his servants the things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant, John, who bear record of the word of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ and of all things that he saw. Blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things that are written therein, for the time is at hand. Ready? Blessed is he that readeth. Okay, you ready? Let me show you how profound this is. What did I say? You've been turned upside down. You have to get inverted to know the truth, to know what, to know anything. To know any truth, you have to be inverted. If, if you think you know truth or you know Jesus and you haven't been inverted, you've been lied to, you've been deceived, you're self-deceived, you cannot know truth and all truth without being converted and inverted. You can't, by definition. Now watch this. Blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things that are written therein for the time is at hand. Ready? Blessed is he that readeth. Oops. The word is Ana Hinosko. Ana means up, and Hinosko means to know absolutely. To know absolutely. That's why I have so much confidence in my preaching. Because to know again, to know Jesus again, because Jesus is up. <laughs> Do you understand? 
to know Jesus again because when you came into this earth, you didn't know him anymore. You lost contact with him because that twin evil, evil crap hid your other eye. But when you get inverted, you know up again. That's why the Lord had me invite Karen and Jim out to the ark the very night that I told Corey and Zach. The Lord told me if I would step out on faith, he would show up and prove that everything I'm saying is true. And the Lord showed up as a giant eye in the sky using the moon. I'll show it to you. I've got it right here. So oh, this picture does not do it justice, but you can see the eye. We looked up, this was rainbow, pink, green, and blue. See it? And it makes an X in the dead center and the stars were all out around it on the perimeter. It was mind boggling. So we looked up in the sky and there was a lie with an X. And I have a parachute that says V for vengeance and it makes an X. Standing right in front of one of the twin females that maligned me, lied about me, said evil things about me and kicked out all the guests that went to stay there that were you know invited and after all this money was poured in to make their place nice they're going to keep all the improvements and throw everybody out oh that sounds like the system i can assure you that what's going to happen for those that are involved is probably the scariest thing you could ever imagine. But I have to say to get to see the Lord work in this is so unbelievable. There is the eye in the sky. Look at that. Look at the X it made. And that's the same as my parachute V for vengeance. And he revealed the very thing that the twin female system had hidden our other eye, our ability to see up. And we all looked up and there it was. <laughs> it's like so crazy. <gasps> anyway, I want to give all glory to the King. Jesus is, there's, an, how do you describe what's infinite and beautiful and forgiving? And I fell in love with Jesus and just who he is. I love Jesus. I never in a million years, never thought I would ever, ever tell people about Jesus and the love of God. Jesus is God. He's everywhere. He's everything. Do you understand? He made all things, every molecule, every there is no thing that was made that he did not make. It's like he creates evil and he forms the light out of the darkness. He creates the darkness and he forms the light. That's why he allow he creates Elohim. He allows Elohim to do what Elohim does. And he's willing to purchase everything back at the cost of his own torture for all of us. And he loves you even though you rebelled. And because of us, he went to a cross. And if you don't love him for that, shame on you. Just shame on you. And just, I just don't know what to say. Except, can you imagine someone willing to take your punishment for everything? Even when you're, you're totally wrong. Anyway, the love of God. Who could even imagine the love of God? Now, I hope everything I've shown you tonight, I hope it just really sinks in. I hope it sinks in that this is a clear plastic layover that I, I drew in every line, every leaf, and that this guy sitting in the chair right there what this becomes, this guy right here, here's what it becomes. The whole thing becomes a T-Rex and this, this chrysanthemum, this T-Rex is crapping out, is the tongue of a dead sheep. That's how evil that guy is. 
Kihinde Wiley did the painting. And Kihinde Wiley, it's common for him to put sperm in his paintings and to put raptors and he has a twin, two twin black girls and one of them, her hand is a raptor on the arm of her sister because that's what they are. That's just identifies them. I mean, look at that. I mean, look at that. That is a presidential portrait of the guy that's telling Biden what to do. It's like, okay, it's a no brainer. All right, guys, I'll tell you what, I'm going to pause this for a minute. I'm going to pee. I'm going to pray. See if there's anything else. I don't want this thing to overheat and to lose any of this video. Um, I love you guys. This is the greatest honor in my life just to be able to get to minister to you guys. I mean, to have gotten to be able to see and understand this is just beyond the human brain. Anyway, I love you in Christ and I want you to come home with me. I want you to come home to heaven with me. I want you to come home. I don't want any of y'all to be here for what's coming. I love you in Christ. Uh, I don't want anyone to be here for what's coming. What's coming is the greatest horror the world has ever seen or will see. Those are Jesus's words. Those are his words. The greatest horror the world's ever seen is here. Anyway, I love you in Christ. Peace and grace. I'm going to see, maybe I can get a, a fan on this thing for a little bit, and maybe I can cool this thing down and just go through a few more uh, images and folders. I think scripturally today uh, was a, a home run, so y'all could see what Lucifer's goal is, and Lucifer, Satan, you know, after the fall, and so you could see what Jesus's goal is to make one new man from the two. That's why he was crucified between Jesmus and Dusmus. That re represents your twin, your duality. And he's crucified fixing your duality, making one new man from the two, thus making peace. That's what being on the rock is, knowing that this is the system you get inverted and put back together. And the two faces of the rock get put back together and you're on the rock. It's perfection. All right, guys, let me see what I can do and let's see where this is going to go. I'll be right back.